All right, so while I'm just giving a wrap up to you guys and my a little summary of what I thought of Rapid Confrontation, um, you get to see some of the armies that were there today. Um, one day, five games. I left because it was on the Gold Coast, and I'm I'm li I live in Brisbane. Um, I left at I think seven o'clock. Uh, I mean, just to get there a bit early because I hadn't I've never been to um, it, was, it was good games um, was the store so we played in a in a store and the store sponsored it it was a really nice it's a comic book store which was really cool um, and they you know they do what comic book stores do and they sell miniatures as well anyway um, yeah so I left at 7 a.m. got there um, probably 8 8 15. Dropped my stuff off, uh, met some guys there, and I actually met our, our the first opponent, and we had a chat while he was having breakfast. Um, we got started, I think we started the first game 9.30, and yeah, two hours every game, very strict on the time. Um, 15 minute breaks in between games, but then we got the hour for lunch. And yeah, we finished everything up at what was it eleven o'clock? We finished the last round. Eleven thirty, prize had been finished. I I left. I got to the car probably about eleven thirty, eleven four, and then fifteen past midnight. Um, got home. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it 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 frees up. It frees up a uh, the Sunday, of course, and it is just one big, <laughs> big long day. But I, I didn't really like, and I, I know I, I don't really like the um, the rush. Two hours, I think, for maybe some elite armies, yeah, yeah, you could probably get away with it. But it's hard to make a Tyranid army that's an elite army. And I've I've tried to like look at mine. Like I've I've only got two Turvagons. I mean, unless I drop the Turvagons, then it it hurts me trying to cap things with it. That's you know there's. You, you kind of need the Turbogons, I, I feel. I'm going to play around, you know, later this year, in future tournaments, playing around with maybe having just one or none. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, and especially my bit more manoeuvral, it's a bit more tactical, or like, oh, I consider it more tactical, rather than just deploying your entire army and just pushing forward, which is really, it's like brute force. It's really good. And um, Eric, he's another Tyranny player. He, he does that really, really well. Um... Yeah, so, even, you know, playing our type of army, two hours, I think, is, is just a little too quick, because there was one, a few of the games, you have to rush just a little bit quicker to, to get them done, and one game we, we actually didn't finish, that was the, the third, uh, third game, fourth game, fourth game, um, we only got to turn three, and I really would have loved that, so I reckon if we had, like, probably 20 more minutes, which is like a normal tournament, um, yeah, if we had 20 more minutes... No problem. We we could have get it uh, got it done, and we could have seen who won. That would have been really fun. Um, next rapid confrontation is September. I believe um, Jones he said it was September 29th, and he's putting it up to 1950 points. Ouch! Um, and but still two hours and five games. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. That's that's a that's a big one. Um, We'll have to see what my army looks like near getting close to September. If I've got a more elite one that I can bring in, I'll do it. Um, I might actually have my Dark Elder done though by then, so I might go with the Dark Elder. But yeah, it, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, for the people who, all my subscribers and anyone watching, um, the next tournaments, there's two of them um, that I'm going into. So there's a Titans of War. Uh, that's a four-player tournament, so it's like a team battle thing, um, run by the same guy who ran, um, I think it's Adam, please tell me it is Adam, anyway, uh, he's run the, um, the first tournament that's up there, the Force, Force City, um, so I'm looking forward to that, because my, my overall goal is to eventually get to the, um, well, hopefully the Queensland team will be at least, you know, good enough to get to there, you know, and then, and practice with people who are in the Queensland team, because, you know, Australia has an, an Australian team, you know, and eventually, I don't know if we've already done it or not, but we might actually play in the international 
team circuit thing. And Queensland has won a few of the Australian tournaments, so you know, the states versus states. So uh, that's where I'm looking to get to. If I get there or not, it's all good. But that's where I'm looking to get to. And I, I think this um, Titans of War is a good practice because those are all team-based things. So I haven't ever done that. I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to it. And I think that the very next one is actually the Anzac Cup. So this is a... Um, 1950 point, so the Titans of War was 1850, this is a 1950 point um, 40k game, uh, 40k tournament, uh, five games, I believe it's five games, two days, and this one is, um, I think it's actually set up and run by other army people, or uh, army officers, or army members, or army, like, X, like, once they've finished, um, I'll, I'll have to talk to them. Um, some of them were at the gauntlet, and I, I, I had a quick chat with them there. Um, but it looks really cool. Like I, I think it, all the proceeds go to Legacy, which is like you know for um, the defense uh, to support the people. You know, if they've um, died overseas serving um, Australia, then their families get looked after by Legacy. I believe that's what Legacy is. Um, anyway, so I'm looking forward to both of those next. A few tournaments. Um, I've also signed up for all the 4C ones, so there's three more coming up um, throughout the year, and I've also signed up and paid for the all the rest of the Gauntlet ones, um, and a few other ones in between. And there's actually going to be I might do a um, Apocalypse one. I think it's June or July, um, so I might be doing an Apocalypse tournament there with all my nids which will be interesting. I don't know if I'll have everything painted. This is all leading up to an Apocalypse Games Workshop Apocalypse tournament in November, which hopefully I'll have everything painted. Um, and I've got two Haridins and one Bio Titan, so that's going to be awesome. And I'm going to be recording that as well. So, lots of stuff going to be happening this year. And uh, if you like it, share it with your friends. Um, I know I try to promote this, uh, not as much as I can, but I, I try and promote it because I'm... I'm reasonably happy with how it's all turning out and I've got a lot of good feedback from I actually met quite a few people at um, Rapid Confrontation who actually have seen and they really like the video so that's really great uh, thank you for everything and we'll see you next tournament